Curtis Anderson, last year we went to the Calgary Comic Con, had a blast, but brought, this year... We brought back good stories, and look what happens. There's a Saskatoon Comic Con. Pretty excited about today, Jay. A little disappointed in myself, though. I have no one but myself to blame. All my good costumes are packed away, because I'm in the middle of moving. I could have shown up as the Joker, the Riddler, I mean, you name it. I've been it over, over the years here on Shaw TV. I've got a million costumes. No, I went as grubby Curtis Anderson today. No costume. Sorry, well, you Saskatoon. To, you have to do twice as good next year. That is the plan. But I'm really excited. We weren't sure about the turnout for the inaugural comic and anime blitz here in Saskatoon. But it's, uh, it's a lot of costumes and a fair bit of people. I'm excited to uh, take a look around. How about you, Jay? I, I'm really excited. This is fantastic. Let's do it. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Joining us now, owner-operator of 8th Street Books and Comics, no stranger to Shaw TV, Mr. Pat Thompson. This guy is kind of like the forefather of the comic book industry in Saskatoon. You've been around a lot longer than these other people. 2011, first time we see something like this in Saskatoon. What do you credit that to? L Laura. Laura? <laughs> Laura, okay. It's called credit. Actually, this is the second one since I've been in business. There okay. was another one about 16 or 17 years ago. You didn't know. You I were didn't you know. were you were, so like, you were schooled because this you guy's were like, like what, five at least. Yes. Maybe, maybe two. Maybe, maybe two. two. Yeah. Pat. Maybe so, two. Yeah. So let's not let's not pretend that you know. Uh, and it was it was pretty good, but it never got done again. It's it's kind of a marriage this year of comic books and anime. Is that a natural marriage? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, you take a look. You take a look, and I've got people in in anime or manga costumes. I got them going through the the, the twenty five cent comics. I got them buying graphic novels. Oh, and, and heck, they're buying the plushes from the anime stuff too. I'd say it works pretty good. I've got customers in here that I know that are comic guys looking at the Japanese anime-based stuff. Yep. Uh, yeah, a great marriage. One of our most famous interviews united together is right before the, uh, the Dark Knight came out. It was great. And you told me that the Batman movies have no effect on your sales or the industry as a whole from what you see. What are your thoughts on this? Is this a little, a little better for you? This? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is getting yeah. people excited right yeah. here, right now. And if you take a look, like all three comic book stores from Saskatoon are here. They're represented. A bunch of artists that didn't even know they were from Saskatoon and what they were doing are here. They're getting their stuff out in front of people. Oh, you bet you this is going to be good for, for it. Good for business, good for the industry, good for Saskatoon. Again, H3 Books and Comics have been around for a long time. How rewarding is it for you to look around and see this today, Pat Thompson? Is it rewarding? It's rewarding, but my feet hurt. Uh, this is very rewarding. I mean, um, we brought in product just for this. And obvious to, it's obvious to me that the product that we brought in is stuff that we're going to have to start to carry now. Um, because, well, we didn't know just how strong the anime thing was. I mean, there's, we, don't, we sell manga, but we don't sell yeah. the movie stuff. So having them come out, and, and they're tickled with the products that, we, that well, I'm going to tell you right now, Stacy. I made her do all the work. Stacy yeah. brought this stuff in. It's just astonishing. So Pat Thompson learned something. You got school today. Yes. I don't know that much either, but there's like Sailor Moon and Sailor... The other. Is there a Sailor Foot Massage? She might be able to help oh, you out God, today. I'm looking, for, I'm yeah, looking we'll, for Sailor Foot Massage. We'll find her. We'll yeah. find her. I Sailor hope, Jacuzzi, maybe. I hope she's the hot one. They all are. Have you seen those girls? Well, if you love comic books or anime, I say grab a costume and come because it's a party. How much in character for Tony Stark did you get? Did you get like wasted before you came, or no, not no. Tony Stark? Didn't he? Didn't Tony? I, I, oh, no. he, he's a drunk. He's a drunk. But, yeah. Uh... I'm Toby from Naruto Shippuden, and this is Sasuke from Naruto. I am Sasuke from the Pre Shippuden of Naruto. And other people here know who you are. Yeah. Yes. And I got you. Yeah. Woo! Overused, but the way the anime is just drawn and stuff, it's just really cool. Um, like how people draw fairy tales and stuff, I think that really attracts some people. Yeah, the storylines are just better than normal cartoons, I think. You're just making this easy, it's just like bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> bang. 
joined now by comic book icon, Mr. Tom Grummet. How rewarding is this for you? I keep asking that question a lot to all my uh, regular comic book interviews here on Shaw TV, but you look around here in Saskatoon, it's a collection of people coming together for this. How rewarding is this for you? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Um, I, I, I do like to get out of the basement every once in a while and, yeah. and meet other human beings. And uh, it's nice to see that uh, this show is as well attended as it is. Yeah. You're sitting at the uh, special guest table beside Riley Rosmo. You look over at Riley. What advice do you have for someone like Riley? You know, the, the Riley Rosmos, the Curtis Weaves, the Scott Kowalchuks, kind of the next, the next page of uh, comic book people right here from Saskatoon. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Well, Jay, it looks like we're out of time. Wow, what an experience. Yeah. Sask Saskatoon, this is happening in Saskatoon as we are rolling. Make sure you check it out next year. They're going to come back in 2012, bigger and better. I'm excited. Are you excited, Jay? Definitely. I'm, I'm going to be back next year. For all you guys that regret you missed this, it's going to be back next year. So, plan ahead. All right, let's do the big reveal. Okay. Jay Newfeld probably sleeping on the couch tonight. Check it out. Ooh, ooh. But you can't just go and put this, like, anywhere, right? you got to find, you got to no. find somewhere to park it. Check that out. That's some vintage Check Star Wars. Or Star, Star Wars, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Vintage it's Ghostbusters. Here. Ghostbusters collectibles going home with Jay Newfeld. That's pretty amazing. That oh, is some awesome, some awesome. of the best the 80s ever got right there. Did you have fun today? I had incredible fun. Incredible. I saw a bigger smile on the face of Jay Newfeld <laughs> that I've seen in a long time. I know how big of a Ghostbusters fan you are. That right there, that is a fine. Yeah, so next year, Curtis Anderson? I'm in. Absolutely. And I'm going to dress up next year. I'm not going to go as grubby Curtis Anderson because I'll have moved by then and I'll have all my costumes back out and it's, and they'll be accessible. The whole costume room maybe. Yeah, maybe. I can, I can, I can do that now. So yeah, let's get a shot of that again. Let's drive it into the unknown. Next year. Ooh.